Hello, I'm Baron Baptiste, and welcome to your journey into power. This power vinyasa yoga practice is going to awaken your body and soul. Remember, make every pose your own. This process is about you. Just breathe deep and free through the whole process. Your journey begins now. Bring your hands alongside your body. Open your chest. Relax. Now set your eyes softly. Take a huge breath in and just relax. Take a deep breath out. Lift your chin and sweep up. Inhale. And then bring your hands to your heart center. Bend your knees a little bit and fold forward. Good. And now you're going to step back into downward dog pose. So you want to form an inverted V with your body, an upside down V, like a pyramid. Take a peek at your hands. Make sure your hands are shoulder width distance apart. And you want to press through the knuckles of your index fingers. And you want space, equal space between all of your fingers. Good. Relax your head and neck. Take a peek at your feet. Feet are hip width distance apart. Now just breathe. Set your eyes to one single focal point. Make this a meditation. You're breathing through your nose only, so your mouth is closed. Relax your mask. Relax every muscle on your face. Shake your head no and yes a little bit. And just let go. Yoga practice is about letting go. And we're going to create a whole new flow of energy. We're going to shift your biochemistry. It begins with relaxing. It begins with breathing. Now gently bring your knees to the floor, come into child's pose. So you want to open your knees to the outer edges of your mat. So you have lots of space. Drop your hips toward your heels. Relax your head and face and just breathe here. Everything relaxing. Just relax. Everything. Your brain drops to the floor. Your head, your face. Again, relax your mask. Relax your lips. We'll set the pace, set the tone for our practice today with our face, by relaxing your face. Now this pose here, child's pose, is always here for you. So maybe you have to take this position 10 times during this practice to restore yourself, to regenerate yourself, and then you join the flow as you feel good again. So come back up onto your hands and knees. We're going to come back into downward dog, but let's break it down a little bit. Make sure your hands, again, are shoulder width distance apart. Tuck your toes under and tilt your tailbone up to the sky. Good. So you create a nice arch in your spine. Breathe in here and then lift your knees up off the floor. And look at this really nice line through the spine. That's exactly what we want. Now breathe in. One, inhale, exhale, two, just let go. Awaken, strengthen through your arms. So you're pressing your mat forward on every in breath. Take your hips upward on the out breath. Press your thighs back. Your heels move toward the floor, but it's no big deal if they don't touch the floor. Now look forward and walk to the front of your mat. People, just walk forward and bring your feet hip width distance apart. Take your head down. Now bend your knees quite a bit. So you want to make this as comfortable, as effortless as possible. It's not about how far you can stretch. We're not trying to keep up with anyone. Just let go and feel your body. It's not about how far you go into a pose. It's just about feeling. It's not about getting something from the pose. It's just about experiencing your body more deeply. And if you experience your body more deeply, you'll be amazed how much your body will change. Because then you can challenge at your edge but in a way that's healthy and in a way that takes you to a new place. Now slowly toe heel your feet together from here and breathe out, come rolling up to standing like a dancer. Sweep your hands up over your head. Bring your hands to your heart center. Fold forward again and breathe out. Now we're going to take a warm up. It's called Sun Salutation A. Lift halfway up and flatten your back. So bend your knees a little bit, maybe a lot. Press your butt back, pull your chest forward, neck long. Good. Come into a high push up position. So step or walk. Bring your knees to the floor. Breathe in, point your toes, look forward, lift your chin, bend your elbows, move forward, get strong. Upward dog, inhale. So gentle, gentle 
on your neck, happy neck, and then downward dog flow. Good. Now again, hands shoulder width, feet hip width, breathing. Set your eyes, set your breath deep. Breathe deep and free. Just relax your body as you strengthen. Arms pressing, hips lifting. Take your deepest breath out and then walk or you can jump to the front of your mat. And then again, work length through your spine. And then exhale, stretch you down. Bend your knees a little bit, soften. Especially if you're a beginner, relax your knees. Sweep up to standing. Inhale, gaze high. Bring your hands to your heart center and fold forward again. Bend the knees a little bit, people. Lift halfway up, inhale, awaken your spine. High push-up position. Now, you can lower down or lie down to the floor. So she's really strong, so she can hover. And then upward dog, beautiful cobra, shoulders back. And squeeze your thighs, squeeze your leg muscles, tone, and then downward dog. You roll over your toes. Good, neck is free, head is heavy. Take child's pose. Whenever you get tired, whenever you get fatigued, just hit the floor with your knees. Bring your forehead to the floor, rest as you need to. And then you just start again. Breathe out, everybody. Look forward, walk or jump. Inhale, lift halfway up. Good, exhale, stretch down deep. This time, bend your knees to a deep squat. Sweep your hands up over your head, Utkatasana. Good breathing, one, that's it, relaxing. Lifting the upper corners of your lips. Happy in the pose, always. Breathe in, bring your hands to your heart center, and then fold forward, breathe out, good. That's right, take it easy. Inhale, halfway up, high push-up, lower push-up, slowly strong, upward dog. Awaken your spine, downward dog, roll over your toes. And step your right leg forward, bring your right foot to your hands for warrior one. Spin your back foot flat. Now make sure your heels are on one line, that's important. Good, squeeze the back foot flat into the floor. Pull your right hip in, good. And then open your arms out like wings. Leave your chest at your thigh, hip in, right hip in. Set your eyes on your big toe. Make your big toe glow just with the calm power of your mind. Concentrate and your body will radiate with a life force. Bring your chin down so the neck is free. Chest up, breathe out. Then sweep your arms up over your head, warrior one. Breathing, now set your eyes, meditation two. Come alive, lift your fingers. Lift your 10 toes up off the floor. Pull your right hip back. Pull your spine and arms up, mind up, altitude of attitude, breathe in. Bring your hands to your heart center. Low push-up position, good. Right leg back, flow low. Upward dog, a full beautiful back bend. Downward dog, exhale. Bring your left foot to your hands again, warrior one. Heels on line, back foot flat. Pull your left hip in, open your arms out like wings. Now bring some upward dog into this pose, upward dog. Left hip in, breathe out. Sweep up, inhale, hands over your head, one. Now set your eyes, take aim, meditation, in motion. Be playful, be light, be free, not heavy. The Buddha said make yourself light. So enlighten, press your hands together and bring them to your heart center, breathe in. Low push-up position, left leg back, flow low, then upward dog again, inhale, down dog, exhale, good, set your eyes to one single point, and that will soothe your nervous system. And you breathe deep and free, just free, breathe uniquely, whatever feels right to you, but breathe deep through your whole body. Take a long breath out, walk or jump forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, stretch down. Again, bend your knees, sweep up, Utkatasana. Inhale, bring your hands to your heart center, fold forward, exhale. Lift halfway up, breathe in. 
Come into your high and then your low push-up position. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Good. Right leg stepping, warrior one. And bring your hands to your heart center again. That's it, breathe in here. And then warrior two, so you open your torso, open your hips. Now check your front knee. Bring your front knee toward the pinky toe. Set your eyes at your front middle finger nail. Breathing, meditation, concentrate, radiate. Shoulders relaxing, straightening your front knee. Reverse your feet. So warrior two again to the opposite leg. And breathe here. The front knee moving out. Squeeze your back leg, heart open. Straighten your left knee, close your left foot. This time, lace your hands behind your back. Lift your chest and chin up, breathe in. Bow forward, breathe out. Wrap your arms, check your feet, slide your heels out. If this is too much of a stretch, then lessen the intensity by simply bending your knees. Lift the inner edges of your feet. Relax your neck, relax your eyes, breathing. Setting your eyes to one point helps to set the mind toward calmness, relaxation, in action. Your body responds so beautifully when you're relaxed, when you're breathing, and you're present. Magic happens just by being present in your body. Now come up slowly to standing. Face the front wall. Now step to the front of your mat. Samastitihi, meaning standing at attention. Bring your hands to your heart center. And just align your mind to your hands, align your mind to your spine. Get a sense of inner stature. Now tree pose, vrikshasana. Take your right heel to the top of your inner left thigh. So just balance, setting your eyes at one single point, standing in the center of the cyclone, standing in the eye of the storm. And sometimes our minds and our emotions feel like a storm, but within that storm is a center of stillness. And through yoga practice, through our deep breathing, through setting our eyes, we slip into that stillness. We slip into that center of light. Now lace your fingers, press your palms straight up, and create a beautiful length through your spine. The palms are stretching upward, the elbows squeezing inward, just like that, beautiful. Your face is soft, equanimity relaxation in action, a meditation in motion, strong, increasing stature from the inside up, and then samastitihi, relax. Good, let's take the other side. So bring your left heel up to the top of your inner left thigh, that's it, and then take your hands to your heart center, putting a prayer to your pose, calmness, an inward composure, inner composure. Pressing all of your fingers and palms together firmly. So make the connection between the left and right hemispheres of your body. Connecting the yin, the yang, the masculine, the feminine, the heart high, shoulders back, eyes set. Lacing your fingers, press your palms straight up. So these simple balancing movements demand your presence. That's so wonderful thing about them is they take you out of your head, out of the mental chatter, the busyness of our minds, and centers us into this eternal and timeless quality of mind. As you rest your eyes to one point, come into that timeless awareness. And then samastitihi, relax, good. And hands to your heart center, look up and stretch up, straight up, breathe in. Now through your center, bring your hands down, bend forward, folding into a deep, 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 deep stretch. Lift halfway up, inhale, come into your high push-up position. Lower down slowly, get strong, strong, and then lie down, lie down, good. Bend your knees now and take your feet. Good. Now it's important that you bring your knees in to hip width distance. If this bothers your lower back to do this at all, then just take one leg only. 
So you leave one leg down, one foot down, and just take one leg only, that's the option. And then the free arm will come underneath your chest, and then come up. Keep your knees into hip width, breathing, two. Bring your chin down, so keep your neck relaxed and free. Remember, we practice yoga to let go of tension, not to create it. Notice your patterns of movement that create tension, psychological patterns, and consciously let go. Let go. Unlearn those patterns through letting go. Relax down very slowly. Ah, love the floor. Feel the supportive force of gravity. Slip into vulnerability. Just let go. Every muscle. And then gently set your hands for upward dog pose. Hands alongside your chest and then scoop your chest forward and come up. Slow, steady, breathe for five breaths. One, pull your shoulders back, relax your forehead. So not contracting, again, not creating tension. Breathe in, roll over your toes to downward facing dog pose, good. Now walk up your mat and drop your knees between your hands. So camel pose, it's important that your knees are hip width distance apart. And then just stand up onto your knees and then scoop your tailbone down. And then to modify, you stand onto the balls of your feet. So you're gonna tuck your toes under or leave your feet flat. Engage your legs and squeeze your lower body, contract. And then very slowly, bring your shoulders back and take your heels one at a time. Be gentle, now squeeze your lower body. Legs active, contracting your sit muscles, your thigh muscles. You now rolling your hips forward, hips moving forward. Press your shin bones and your feet down. Chest up, chest up, shoulder blades sliding down your back. That'll broaden your chest. And then come up very slowly, downward facing dog. So bring your hands to the floor, lift your knees up. That's it, and just relax, take a few deep breaths. Let your head relax, tilt your tailbone to the sky. Bring your knees down for a moment to heel level. Bring your knees down and just tilt your tailbone to the ceiling. And see that creates a beautiful line in the spine. We're always practicing spinal space, creating spinal space and length in yoga practice. Your spine is your physical foundation. So give it a little extra time. Love your spine. Now take your knees down to the floor. Lift your feet up off of the floor and cross your ankles. Roll over your feet to your seat and bring your legs forward. Lie onto your back. We're going to take bridge pose. So as you lie onto your back, you bring your feet in, hip width distance apart. Splay your feet out just a little bit and keep your knees in. Okay? Now scoop your tailbone forward and lift your hips up to the heavens, hips to the heavens. Then interlace your hands underneath your back and straighten your elbows. Now kind of walk your shoulder blades in toward each other, but you don't want to pull your shoulder blades toward your feet. Just bring them in toward the spine and then set your eyes at the tip of your nose, breathing, relaxing, feeling, just opening. Take it up a little bit higher. Keep your knees in and then down slow, lower down. Now take a breath, just one breath. We're going to stay with the vinyasa. Vinyasa means flow and then take your knees up into your chest. Take your knees to the right side of the room. Open your arms like wings. And then take your legs to the other side. And then to the other side. And just kind of windshield wipe back and forth a little bit. Just kind of massage your sacrum back and forth, cleaning the windshield of your mind, people. How about that? Massaging your sacrum. Okay, come to center. Come to center. And take your legs up to the sky. Interlace your head with your hands. Lift your head and shoulders off of the floor. Now bring your right leg, right heel, about a half of a foot off the floor. If this bothers your lower back or if you want to lessen the intensity, bring this foot, the extended foot, flat to the floor. Now breathe in here and then pulse up for five to breath 
four, three, two, and one. Good, now change legs. Lower leg up, upper leg down, breathing. Five, good. Four, leave your arms open. Three, lead with your chin. Keep your shoulders off the floor. Two, one. Take your legs up, both legs up. Now take your arms forward and arms parallel to the floor. That's good, take your legs 30 degrees forward. Five, breathe here, face up. Breathing, breathing, strengthening your core. Three, two, one, bring your legs another 30% forward. Five, four, three, relaxing, two, one. Bring your feet two inches off the earth. Five, four, three, two, strengthening, holding, getting stronger as I speak and then relax, good. Bring the soles of your feet together and just relax. Just feel the heat in your belly, drop your abdomen. Now slowly bring your knees into your chest and we're gonna work a little more abdominal strength. So cradle your head again with your hands and take your head and shoulders off of the floor. Straighten your right leg to about a 45 degree angle. So keep it upward and then twist the right arm to the outer knee, good. And then come to center with both legs, pause here. Lift your tail and shoulders, and then left leg straight and twist. Good, inhale to center, lift. Exhale, straight and spin, good. Inhale to center, lift. Straight and spin, good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flow, inhale. Exhale, matching to breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last two, breathe in, lift your tail, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale. Then come to center, take the legs up. Take your arms forward, once more. Take your legs 30% forward, stay strong. Stay strong, stay calm, be in your breath. Take your legs another 30% forward, four. Three, two, one, another. Bring your heels two inches off the floor. Four, three, this is so healthy. It's so necessary if you want the core of your body strong. We're only as strong as our weakest link. And this link, we need to strengthen. Relaxation, everybody, let go. Oh, this is so, so healthy so necessary to love our bodies, to give our bodies positive attention. Take your knees into your chest, everybody. Mmm, just relax, this should feel so good. Now, take your left foot down to the floor, so flat to the floor. Bring your upper ankle to the outside of that thigh, good. And then bring your knee up into your chest. Yeah, that's it. And you reach through the hole in your leg with one arm and reach through the other. Now you can hold under the calf muscle. You can also hold over the top. You can choose. If it bothers you, you need to hold up here um, and hold under. You may have a little more leverage on top. So work either way. It's fine. But pull in. Pull in, in, and breathe. That's it. And gently drop your chin down toward your chest just slightly so the neck is neutral. And breathing. Deep breathing. Deep breathing. Your head is resting on the floor, so bring your head down. And just relax, just relax. Squeeze your knees inward toward the floor. And then slowly release and bring both feet flat. And then take the other foot up, the ankle bone just to the outside of the thigh so it's not digging into the thigh. Take your knees up, reach through the legs. Again, you can hold under the leg or over it. Good. And then gently pull down and breathe deep. Pull down, breathe deep. Mm, opening your hips, releasing tension from the hips. As you open your hips, your whole body will change. You'll have so much more freedom and relaxation and just a general release. And then bring your feet down to the floor. Good. That's it. And then just let your spine release deeply here. And then bring your knees up into your chest. Squeeze your knees in. And now we're going to rock up to your feet. Flat feet, rock and rolls. And then come back. Up and back. Let's take five. Two. Breathing. Three. 
four, massaging your spine and nervous system, and then come up and stay up. Now, slide back on your mat a little bit and straighten your legs, or better yet, for most of you, if you're tighter in your hamstrings, work, start with the knees a little bit bent. That's it, and pull your sit muscles out a little. And then as you bend your knees, you'll be able to then hold the outer edges of your feet. So reach forward and take the outer edges of your feet with four fingers. And with the thumbs, you press the inner edges of your feet forward. Toes active, so you enliven. Relax forward, just take your head down, relax your neck, and then you're breathing, creating a nice extension through your spine. Now, every breath or so, you increase intensity by pressing your thighs toward the floor. Press your thigh bones toward the floor. Just breathing, relaxing in your body, but be present in your body. And then gently, let's come up. And then tabletop. So you're going to bring your hands behind you, your fingertips face forward. Good. That's it. And you flatten your feet. And then take your hips up to the sky. Relax your head back. If it bothers your neck to take your head back, keep your chin up at your chest. And then your hips move up. Hips very high. Hips to the heavens. Breathing. Hands flat. Breathe in. And then relax down. Hips to the floor. Good. Lie down onto your back. Squeeze your right knee into your chest, and then twist. Bring your right knee to the outer left side of your body. Right arm open like a wing. Drop your right ear toward the floor. Rest. Take deep, deep, deep rest. And then come to center. Squeeze both knees in. And take your right leg down. Inhale and spin. Open your left arm like a wing. And breathe, what we call a gentle ujjayi. A rhythmical breath moving into and out of your nose. Open your ears and just be here. Listen, listen to every sound. Feel, feel every sensation so you're really feeling what you're feeling. You're really hearing what you're hearing. There's a wonderful yogic principle that we are either now here in the present moment or we're nowhere. We're just lost in the past or in the future, but we're missing out on the power, the magic of this moment. And our bodies are a wonderful anchor for the mind. They anchor the mind into the moment. So as you feel your body, you heal because you're here in this moment feeling. There's a wonderful healing. So now slowly, people, come to center and bring your feet, the soles of your feet together. We call this Supta Baddha Konasana, arms alongside your body. And just pull your head away from your neck, drop your shoulders, relax your arms, relax your belly. Let any tension in your abdomen soften. The digestive organs very often are overworked or overstressed and consciously just let them drop, let your belly drop, and let any tension dissolve like an ice cube in hot water. Let your whole body melt down, a perfect surrender to gravity. Just slipping into stillness, diving into your bliss, being fully alive, awake, present in this moment. So hang out here as long as you can. This is so, so healthy to just do nothing, to rest deeply, to spend time with your body. The great yoga master Ramakrishna said, the winds of grace are blowing all the time. And all we need to do is raise our sails. Grace is here, grace is always here with us. Raise your sails, open your heart, open your soul and receive. I thank you so much and I hope this practice has enriched you and that it empowers every aspect of your life. Thank you so much and namaste.